G'day world, Rusty here, just sort of give you a bit of an update, here's moving my safety gear on, the earplugs, all the gear, beer in hand, <laughs> just having a break, thought I'd give you an update on Penelope, check this out, Penelope ZXA, the Falcon, Ford Falcon so now I'm doing up, over here, this is the insert for the front uh, GT flutes, you buy these, I bought them on the internet through eBay, but you can go to um, reputable dealers and get them. Anyway, what I've done here, I've measured so the measurements I've done. Measured out where I want to cut it, where I want to put it. I've measured from this front edge here to this edge here in the flute. I'll place it in there and show you. I've got them half cut out now. Alright, you do a lot of it by eye. You know, you stand back and have a look at it, sit the guard up and get this bit straight because the insert, the actual flute, um, sits into here. I might show you that later. It's up there on the telly. Anyway, so you take some measurements. I've done this before on my other car. So you measure from here to, you know, to this edge here, you know, from this top edge along here. Move the camera if you can see it. I generally come down about one inch from there to the top of that edge there and it looks really neat so if you get that straight and you get this distance from here to here and about halfway down here to here pretty right well then you generally set pretty good so you come around a bit so it's one inch or for the metric 25.4 millimeters from where are we hold the camera right from that line there, that's the the crease line, the swage line. I don't know if you can see it there, if I you can see that edge along the guard there, to this top edge here, where I'll draw the line. And then from grab my most tape measure. I think it's 180, or there, 185. So that 185 from there to that texture mark on the front of the guard there. Or about 205 give or take a millimeter from the back edge so yeah do it the same top and bottom and from memory that was 65 from there to that mark there how's that how we go I don't know we're doing 50 something now maybe I went I think I went to the edge of the flute but you get a measurement anyway so if you get this front is this is your datum because it's a fairly straight line there. And um, I'm going to prove this other measurement for you. Oop. There you go, yeah, 20, 25 or thereabouts, you see that? Yeah. Yeah, whatever looks good, whatever you think's a fair thing, then it generally lines up pretty straight. I'll grab the flutes over here. Here we have, these are a reproduction plastic. Or neoprene, sort of. I think it's neoprene or some sort of hard plastic that were manufactured by a gentleman that sells them on eBay. Highly recommend them. He puts them on every now and then, not all the time. There is a right and a left. We're doing the right guard here at the moment. We've got the nuts on, so it won't show it truly what it looks like. But they sit that way into those holes like so. Line that up. That's how it'll look. So what do you think? Like I said I've done it on the X8 coupe that I um I did up years ago. This is my second time around at doing this. But yeah, so you sit that here. They don't fit in absolutely perfect. These um, inserts are from a different person that made. Well, these inserts are a different person. Anyway, they're both from different people. But um they're not bad quality. They've got stampings on the back of them and. You do have to clean up these edges a bit. As you can see there, it fold off a little bit of stuff. Not too much. The finish on the front of it, I was thinking of leaving that finish that he's got on it. How he exactly makes them, it's, it's a plastic mould, as you can see. It, um, he makes several different bits and pieces. His name, it eludes me, but look him up on eBay if you're after those sort of things. But um, these, the steel inserts, um, I highly recommend them. Like I said, got them on, on eBay. There's 
plenty of manufacturers making all these. You can get both these from the one kit, but I find them to be very expensive. The other ones I have on the, the other car, they are actually the original car steel ones. I think they may be a little bit better quality to the feel and that, but these look pretty genuine, pretty good. I'm happy with them, so I'm going to give them a try. So if I could trick some people at shows in the future, so put that to one side. So there you go. This is, like I said, I'm about halfway through. I've just got the... Um, it's always a good idea to mark out like this the bits you're going to cut off because you don't want to make a mistake. Like, you know, I've done pretty good here so far. But, you know, the old saying my dad used to tell me, measure it twice, cut it once. All right? Because, <laughs> um... I don't know, measure about three times, but better safe than sorry. All right, I'll just show you a quick repair I did here too. I've just replaced this piece. As you can see, that is a, um, a reproduction rust, rust replacement panel. It did come in the whole piece. They come up to about here, just under those holes there where the badge was. But... Um, it's not 100% perfect fit. None of these rust replacement panels are, as you guys watching this would know. Um, nothing's ever identical to the original. You know, there's slight differences down here in the hole, and I'm trying to get as close to the original as I can. This way, as long as the bulk goes through, is a little bit different, different shape around here. So to save myself a lot of work, I've decided that this is all pretty good. So why cut all this off and start again? when I just did some measurements and uh, cut out the piece that needed needed replacing. Um, what it started off as is a hole, a tiny hole about here. The missus actually picked it when I was sitting on a car. She goes, what's this? Scratched away and when, you know, a little tiny bit of rust the size of your fingernail turned into a hole about that big. It was just a mess. It was horrible. So just as luck would have it, I had this panel. So I yeah, proceeded to cut it out. And voila, it came up pretty good. I'm pretty happy. There's a progress so far, so I hope you like. I'll um, put an update later when this bit's welded in. And uh, let me know what you think. Alright, cheers guys. All the best and uh, yeah, get into it. Keep the dream alive and give it a go, eh?